Good morning, everyone. What is at the spot? I had a call him, but he was close by because he came quick. Right? He came quick this morning. I mix up his peanuts now and the apples. So he gets both of them and he doesn't drop any on the ground. He gets to enjoy both of them. Oh, look, his antlers are growing in. They're growing. Your velvets are growing. You look so clean, Buck. You look so clean. He's enjoying his breakfast, right? You have a tick on your face? I feel like I see a tick on his face on the side. I gotta bring rubber gloves outside with me because I don't want to touch the ticks with my hands anymore. Is that a tick baby on your face? I can't tell on the side of his face over here. That means the ticks are already starting to come out, Buck. I gotta bring the spray out. I keep saying I gotta bring the spray out. I have it ready. It's in my house. Later, I gotta spray you, big boy. You're not gonna like it, but I have to spray you later. Yeah, he's eating the peanuts and apples together. Eating the peanuts and apples together. Wow, look at you. You put a mouthful of apples in your mouth. So he's got everything in his bucket, in his bowl. He's got peanuts and apples. It's a little chilly this morning, but not cold like yesterday morning. The weather is actually nice. It's supposed to warm up this afternoon. So this evening I'm gonna spray him with the spray. Right, I gotta stop spraying you because now the bugs and the ticks are gonna start coming out. It's getting close, we're already in spring but it doesn't even feel like spring. I don't even say it's spring because it doesn't even feel like it. I think he has a tick, right? Somewhere by his face there. But I don't want to touch it with my hands. I have to bring out rubber gloves and keep it here at the spot. So when he has a tick, I put the rubber gloves on, you know? So I'm not physically touching the tick. So God forbid it doesn't bite me or something. Oh, he's enjoying the peanuts. You're enjoying them? everything over. I'll move everything over for you. There you go. Buck comes quick now when I call him. Like when I first started feeding him again that I started like, you know, getting back on my feet and I, like after my husband, all the feedings that my husband did and I would call him, he would take a while to come. Like the first couple times that I started feeding him again. Because he was probably like, wait a second, who's going to be at the spot? Her or her husband? Right, Buck? And I'm so happy, everyone. My swollen is going down on my legs and my feet. I can actually feel my legs and my feet again. Like, I'm doing so much better this week than last week. Last week, it was, it was only a week. So this Friday would be two weeks that I'm home. And the baby's slowly growing out of the preemie clothes. I started putting the newborn. I have a few outfits of newborn that actually do fit him. That's it. No more. You ate it. Yeah, he does have a tick on his face. Baby. I can't take it out, Buck. I don't have gloves. I need to be, like, safe now. He has a tick, like, right there by his face. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. I'll leave him alone. I'm going to spray him later. I'm going to spray you later. I'm going to start spraying you again, boy. Because the ticks are coming out, it looks like. Now he's eating his corn and the water. I can tell that he's losing a lot of his winter coat. Because when he starts losing the winter coat, his hair starts looking like a shave. 
like a short like buzz cut he starts looking like he doesn't look so fluffy anymore so slowly he's gonna start losing his winter coat i told him to hold on to it a little longer because it's still cold out but maybe they don't feel the cold you know the way we do definitely not who's that has no one know My father-in-law just pulled up the driveway. <laughs> Go your corn, you're okay. Nice to drink some water. I put fresh water in his bucket. He loves when I, there's fresh water in the bucket, I notice. That's when he drinks the most. Right, Buck? Everybody's like doing the mowing lower. Like they're all cutting the grass, probably prepping for spring. You're leaving me already? He's already leaving me, this big boy. Yeah, because he's going to go where the noise is because he's nosy. Because people close by, they're cutting their grass right now. I hear people with the blowers this morning when I was outside. And of course, Buck, he has to be nosy and go where the noise is. You would think deers would like not go where their noise is. That's why sometimes he reminds me of the Bambi movie. Like the father, Bambi's father. Because Bambi's father in the movie, every time he used to hear noise, he used to run to go check it out to see like what was going on. I feel like Buck is just like that. I guess he's leaving me a little early today. You leaving me early? Oh, all right. It's okay because... Then eventually my husband has to get ready to go to work and I stay with the baby. All right, everyone. He's probably gonna leave me now. I'll be back this evening with Buck's dinner video. I gotta put a reminder to bring the spray out with me, the neem oil, and start spraying him because it looks like the ticks are coming out already because he definitely has a tick on his face. But I don't wanna remove it in my hands, you know? I don't want it, God forbid, to bite me or for me to bring it in the house or anything, you know? Gotta be extra safe now, especially with a newborn in the house. So what I'm gonna try to do when I, this evening, I'm gonna try to spray like directly on where the tick is on his face. I gotta try to directly spray him and then spray his whole body. And then the tick should fall off. Cause I remember last year around spring, summer, I would spray the ticks directly. And then a few hours later, when he would come back to me, I wouldn't see the ticks on him. So I'm definitely gonna do that later. I'm gonna spray, give him a good spray. And then I usually keep it right underneath the bench. I keep it right under there, this bottle, where, you know, I keep it close by. And usually, like, every other day, every day I spray him. Because he definitely has a tick on his face, but... So later, we're going to try to spray his face. Not directly, like, by his eye, but I'm going to try to, like, get the spray to go on his face by where he has the tick so I can fall off. All right, enough of my rambling. I'm gonna get ready to go inside because Buck is leaving me, it looks like, pretty much. He's gonna go check out what the noise is. He had a good breakfast. And now I'm gonna go inside to have my breakfast because I'm starving. I'm hungry this morning. But I want to feed my animals first, like I always do. Fed my dog already, now I fed him. Now I'm gonna go inside, wash my hands, and go make myself breakfast. All right, everyone. I will be back later this evening. Buck is being nosy right now, checking out next door, like what was going on, because that's the house that they were cutting their grass earlier this morning. So he's probably picking up scents of the people that were there. But I will be back later this evening. I hope everyone has a great day, and I hope the weather is beautiful by you guys. It's starting to warm up by me, so by this evening, you'll probably hear me saying that the weather should be a little warm. But it's not bad this morning. Buck is just being nosy, smelling everything. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll be back later. I hope everyone has a great day. And ciao for now.